Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergaga.com and in this video we have a look at how you can repeat your tables header row at the top of each page of your Word document. So I have a Word document on screen that is trying to imitate some kind of registration form that we may have on a training course. So we have these headings at the top of our table here that people will be using to sign in. However, it stretches onto a second page because some courses we have may well have more than the uh, six rows that we have here. And they're kind of large, maybe seminars or workshops. But on the second page, the header is not repeated. So when this is printed, people completing this may not be sure what column is what. Uh, they would have to refer back to the first page to see first name, last name, and then it's requiring an email address and signature. So we need this header row to be repeated on the second page, and possibly in your documents, even more pages than that. Now to do this, the first thing we will do is click on one of the cells in the header row. And I've gone for the very first one, except it seems to make logical sense to me. So I've clicked in the very top cell there. You could also select multiple rows, but I'm just going for the one here. I'm going for the Layout tab under Table Tools along the top there. I'm demonstrating this in Word 2013, but the process will be the same in 2007 and 2010 as well. And on the right hand side, the far right, we have Repeat Header Rows. All I need to do is click that button to toggle the feature on. As I move my mouse away, I can see the feature is on. And as I scroll to the next page, our header row is now repeated on that page. If I try to click the header row, I won't be able to because it is not a duplicate. If I edit the header row from the first page, it will automatically update the second page as it is literally just a repetition of that. So that is how you can repeat the header row of your tables at the top of each page in Microsoft Word. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please check out some of our other tutorials at computergaga.com.